Aussie Diaries. So am I now going to be in a vlog? <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> 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 How many people are vlogging? Like. So we are nearing the end of our time here in Margaret River and our good friend Matan had come down to visit. We had met Matan in our first house back up in Perth and we had gotten on really well, spending a lot of time together and enjoying many days out. Matan's time in Australia was coming to an end and he was going to make the drive from Perth all the way to Sydney before the end of his visa. And so he had come down to visit us for one last week of fun and to say our goodbyes before his big road trip. He, of course, is the guy that owns the big Jeep. And this is Matan's idea of a, a car tour. You, you'll get the idea of how this video is gonna go. Look at that, we got a table. You should show them the anti-huntsman right. setup. You know what, you know what? Well, let's let's do a tour. All right. All right. All right. All right. How, is that an umbrella handy? What? Is the umbrella handy? No, no. We're out back. So no, but my camera's getting wet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're on. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Happily getting wet. All right. Ready. All right. All right. <laughs> tour around the Jeep. Okay, you got the drone prop for some press. Inside you have this lovely table. Alright, goes up and goes down. Just like the table will do. Yeah. Right here we got lighting system. And if we want to party also. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Traveling back. nice and light there, I see. The what? Traveling nice and light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of need to take everything out to get to something else. <laughs> but it's alright. Some random socks and chicken butter and jam. Alright, if you go to the front. <laughs> Other side, actually. <laughs> alright. We got some UHF radio here. And we got Huntsman detection system. So we can see exactly what's going on behind the visor. Yeah, that's high tech. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you sit for hours. And hours. And hours. For thousands of kilometers. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we showed Matan around town and we did the river walk. Alice unfortunately had to go off to work, but it did mean that we could use the two accessible seats of the Jeep and I could show Matan my favourite spot on the Caves Road. Born up Carry Forest is a little south of us, but it's home to towering carry trees, some over 60 metres tall. With the sunlight streaming onto their smooth trunks and the road winding through it, it's possibly the most beautiful place I've ever been to. Matan was also looking to get some photos of the Jeep in action, as it hadn't really been possible on his own, and you never know when it could be your last photo. I can't remember why, but we were trying to get a shot of the Jeep as it went past with a blurred background to show its speed. This turned out to be actually quite hard. I got pretty close on this Hyundai and pretty much nailed it on this Mitsubishi, but then missed the Jeep every single time. So we went for some more simpler shots. And after longer than you would have thought, we decided to head to a beach and watch the sunset. And there was only one beach we were taking this Jeep to. Baby. We can't really wait for somebody. 
We gotta do what we can, we are Getting to a time when we can't sit here waiting for a master plan It's far too beautiful on the land and the sea gives to us so So we can't just sit here and watch it go Open up your eyes and take control Let out your passion and your pride Let's save the world from the evil guys That treat this place like just the whole We nothing really but silver and gold Now take control, now to take control Yeah, take control, now to take And my tan wanted some more photos. Maybe stand in front of it, like you own it and that it doesn't own you. Look like you own it and it doesn't own you. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, hands in pockets is definitely the way to go. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No. Oh. I do need to have a floor under it, so oh, sure. I can actually get all the air out. It is as hard as it looks. I mean, it doesn't actually look that hard, it's so... It's really hard. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Now, it is too large, so I'm gonna have to close it. Then open, roll again. Yeah. All right, now work. <laughs> All right, as fun as this is. With both me and Al not working, we hired a car so we could all go together for a bit of a longer drive out to Pemberton. We had been out here once before, but knew of some sights we had missed the first time. After a night on Margaret River's finest wines, I had forgotten to charge my camera, so I was doing my best with the car charger. Pulling up to the entrance of Karajini Camp Park, about halfway to Pemberton, there was a field full of huge kangaroos, so we stopped to get some photos. With my camera pretty low, I'll hand back and let Matan get some shots. I was also hoping that I would get some footage of them attacking Matan. Unfortunately, thankfully, they didn't attack Matan, and so we headed on to Pemberton. On the way into Pemberton, there is a big board full of all the attractions you can do in the area. But we had been intrigued by the Gloucester tree, as we'd heard you could climb it. So we headed there first. Now, as you can see, this was a huge tree with nothing more than cast iron rods sticking out of it. These rods form a spiring ladder all the way to the top with nothing more than a thin wire cage around it. Now that is one way to climb a tree. It was actually pretty cool to be able to climb the tree so high so quick and felt quite freeing not having any protective equipment. I mean, it, it did still feel pretty crazy.
Here we are. Oh, it's a video. Really? Yeah. This was actually a fire lookout tree constructed in 1947 while Prince Henry, the Duke of Gloucester, was visiting town. The more you know. And the views from the top were pretty spectacular. Coming down, used a bit more focus, was a bit nicer on the old quads. And it was on to Pemberton for lunch. This place possibly has the best steak pies I've ever had. And Matan discovered ketchup dispensers. Genius. Right, stop it. <laughs> On the way back, we stopped via some national parks to stretch our legs. With one of them being the Beedle Up Forbes. It had been a really great two days and it was so nice to hang out with our friend again. Health. Yeah. Eating okay. half loaves of bread at a time, I see. <laughs> Always start with the peanut butter first. Otherwise, when you put the jam on first, the peanut butter slips over it and you can't actually like put it. So. It's like crunchy peanut butter. It is. Why? Mm. I once did the mistake and bought the smooth one and suffered. Mm. But I've yet to, interesting to figure out the r correct ratio between the peanut butter and the Still. jam. Because as you can see, this is much larger <laughs> than, the, <laughs> than the jam. <laughs> So I might, I might run out of jam before I run out of peanut butter. Does that make you concerned? <laughs> <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> He's scared to talk about. It's too small enough. Is my leg. Is that going to fit in the bag? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'd offer a hand, but you need to be able to do it by yourself on the road. On the road, like while driving. Yeah. It's great content for <laughs> your specific vlog, the Matan vlog. Yeah. Where we spend more time on this and making sandwiches than we do <laughs> with the activities that we achieve. <laughs> Again, like, I'm just gonna stop recording. <laughs> Uh, quite a segment actually <laughs> of this episode. Time not to roll All right, away. Uh, I'll be. Don't worry, I'm gonna be on my way. Just very short. <laughs> Look at how much smaller it is. Now it's gonna fit very easily. See, no, no stress. Across the veil. <laughs> Maybe you should re roll it again. But it's not his fault. Those things did work. I hate this. Why do people play? Like, honestly, though, <laughs> honestly, why do you need the outside bag? I would just throw the outside bag away. There is... It adds nothing. Something to what you're saying. You're, all you're doing is like... 
wrapping something that you're just going to unwrap straight away. It's not, that bag hasn't really made it much smaller. What well, hasn't? No. <laughs> right, that is it. Chuck the bag away. Now, now it's going to be an adventure to put it in the Jeep. Yeah. We need to take a couple of things out. Great. It's all content. Yeah. And then it has this designated spot that needs to take that. <laughs> Just like this. Like that. Then I slide this here like two days ago. Yeah. Alrighty, didn't think anything more could get in there. But it did. But you showed us. Alright, goodbye. Thank you so much for having me. We'll see you later. This might actually be goodbye, hey? Who knows? Let's we'll see. Alright. See you later. Thank you. Well, I'm sure we'll meet again. See you later. Matan did safely make it all the way to Sydney and found that a 2 to 1 ratio of peanut butter to jam made the best sandwiches. Thank you Matan for being such a good friend to us and giving us so many great memories from Australia. I'm sure we'll see you soon. Our time in Margaret River is actually coming to an end as well and me and I will be heading back to Perth and deciding our next moves in the next episode.